All right, good evening and welcome to Worship at the Cathedral. We're so glad you're here with us. If this is your first time, we want to welcome you back once again. Thank you so much for joining us and being a part of our community. Today we are starting a new sermon series. It's called Not Afraid, and we've got Pastor Anthony with us. So it's going to be exciting. So please stick around. Um, we do the small thing at ourselves where we ask people to come out of their pews and go meet somebody new. Well, we're at church, but you're not. So, so why don't we keep that tradition going? So you can just write hi, or you can drop us a hi emoji in the comment section, and we can have a small time of fellowship amongst us. That being said, if you do have any prayer requests, please reach out to us. Um, you can text us, or you can comment, or you can DM us. But please make sure that you reach out to us, and um, we're gonna make sure that our prayer team are posing prayers. But that being said, you're super welcome to jump, to dance, or to sing, or to clap, whatever comes to you. Let's sing. Right, wherever you are, would you please stand up, please join us, sing along, you know this, and sing Rock of Pages. Right, come on, there is no rock. There is no rock, there is no God like our God. No other name, no other name, worthy of all our praise. The rock of salvation that cannot move. He's proven himself to be faithful and true. There is no rock, there is no God like God. Man, you know it. Let's sing again. There is no rock, there is no God like our God. There's no other name worthy of all our praise. The rock of salvation, the rock of salvation that cannot be moved. Himself to be faithful and true. There is no rock, there is no God like God. Come on, we believe it. Rock ages. Jesus is the rock. Rock of ages. Jesus is the rock. Rock of ages. Salvation that cannot be moved. He's proven himself to be faithful and true. There is no rock, there is no God like God. One, let's sing together. Rock of ages. Jesus is the rock. Rock of ages. Jesus is the rock. Rock of ages, Jesus is the rock. Come on. There is no rock, there is no God like God. Sing it again. There is no rock, there is no God like God. There is no rock, there is no rock, there is no God like God. Lord, there is no rock, there is no God like our God. Lord, we welcome you in this, in this place today, O Lord Father. Lord, we welcome your presence, we welcome your spirit, O Lord Father. Lord, we pray that it may fall heavily on us, O Lord. That we may see you for who you are, O Lord Father. Lord, open our hearts, O Lord, so that we may be able to worship you, O Lord Father, in spirit and in truth, O Lord. Lord, I pray that you may touch each and every one of us, O Lord, listening to this, worshiping with us. No matter where we are, Lord Father, Lord, we know that, Lord, each one of us constitute to this church, O Lord Father, not as a building, O Lord Father, for, Lord, your presence rides on the praises of people, O Lord. O 
Lord, open our hearts today, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, we sing. Hold me now in the hands that created heaven. Find me now where the grace runs deep as your scars. You pull me from the grave. You set me on a rock. You call me by your name. Made my heart whole again. Lift it up. Lift it up And my knees know it's all for your glory I might stand with more reason to sing than to fear You pull me from the clay You set me on a rock you call me by your name Make my heart whole again Come on, so here I stand Here I stand I am surrendered I need you now Hold my heart Now and forever My soul cries out once I was broken, you love my whole heart through. Sin has no hold on me, cause grace holds the ground. And that grace holds the ground with grace. Dead in your way, you crash those age old gates, you left no stone unturned, you stepped out of that grave, shouldered me all the way. Here I stand and surrender. Here I stand, high and surrender. Hold my heart now and forever. My soul cries out. Once I was broken, you love my whole heart too. Sin has no hold on me. Your grace holds me now. Come on with everything you have. This is what we believe. This is what we hold on to this moment, O oh Lord. That your grace holds us now. To be healed and forgiven by your love. And in that we believe this evening, O oh Lord, that our identity is found in you and you alone. As we sing. I am chosen, not forsaken. I am who you say I am You are for me, not against me I am who you say I am Sing I'm chosen I am chosen, not forsaken I am who you say I am You 
are for me, not against me. I am who you say I am. I am chosen, not forsaken. I am who you say I am. You are for me, not against me. I am who you say I am. Sing one more time. I am chosen, not forsaken. I am who you say I am. You are for me, not against me. I am who you say I am. Oh, I am who you say I am. Will the sun sets free? Oh, it's free. child of God. Yes, I am. Oh, yes, Lord, we believe it. In my Father's house, there's a place for me. I'm a child of God. Yes, I am. Sing, I'm chosen. I am chosen. I am who you say I am. You are for me, not against me. I am who you say I am. I am chosen, not forsaken. I am who you say I am. You are for me, not against me. I am who you say I am. healed and forgiven we call you our friend we sanctify just we caught by salvation caught in your love now we thank you for this for that is the only thing that we can do Lord Father for without faith it is impossible to please you and we pray that you may build this faith in us Build us up, O Lord, Father. Build our lives in you, the rock of our salvation. In Jesus, O Lord, Father. That, Lord, his beauty may be seen in us. Growing each and every day, O Lord. This is our prayer. That we may grow in your likeness, we pray. We give you all that we have. Speak to us through your word today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Devious 
China has broken the peace. It's a bloodbath on the Lal Street right now. As far as India's corona count is concerned, and we are being told that 20,000... Good evening, everyone. Uh, I just want to thank God for this opportunity. Uh, once again, I would like to welcome all of you uh, on this online platform. Uh, especially, uh, I want to thank God for this opportunity and to the cathedral uh, team, WADC team, uh, that they gave me this opportunity that I could come to you uh, and I could share God's word. Uh, well, indeed, it's a great time for all of us that we could come together and worship the Lord. Uh, I hope you are blessed with the worship. I believe that you are blessed with the worship. Thank you so much, uh, worship team, for leading us in such a beautiful and powerful time of worship. You guys are amazing. Uh, can we have a hand of applause for such talented men of God? Wherever you are, uh, whether you, uh, you are at your home, you are in your living room, you're sitting at, at your sofa, in your bedroom, wherever you are, uh, you can just encourage them by, if you have their personal number, you can just uh, encourage them uh, or even uh, you can put in the comment uh, wherever uh, on, on whatever platform you're watching uh, be it Insta or YouTube you can just encourage them yes these guys are amazing so before we go into the word let's pray let's close our eyes and let's pray a gracious Heavenly Father we just want to thank God for this uh, opportunity uh, thank you so much Lord uh, for such wonderful uh, people of God who are watching us online. Lord, uh, we give the entire time in your mighty hands. Especially, Lord, we pray uh, for the word. Lord, you speak to us. Whatever you have stored for us for this evening, Lord, let your word come in a powerful and in an impact way, Lord, that uh, that will bring a transformation, that will encourage, that will enhance our spirit, O oh Father. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Once again, Holy Spirit, we give uh, the entire control in your mighty hands. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen and amen. Uh, well, uh, the life that we are living in, uh, it's really uncertain. Uh, nobody knows what's going to happen next. Nobody can predict future. Nobody can predict uh, economy. Uh, nobody knows uh, when the cure of COVID-19 uh, will come. Uh, and uh, to be very true, we have no idea about it. You know, the time uh, that we are living in is a time of confusion. It's a time of stress. It's a time of anxiety. You know, people are afraid. In fact, uh, last Friday, if you remember, we were hit by one more earthquake and uh, NCR region has been uh, hitting by uh, a series of earthquakes and last Friday uh, we experienced one of them. And the coronavirus, the COVID-19, it's, it, it's just spreading rapidly, especially in our country, especially in the city of Delhi. Uh, stock markets have been dropping down. Economy's curve has been dropping down. Uh, people, they are panicking. People are in chaos. They are into confusion. Now, in this time, uh, this is what it is, that what should be our response? This is the question that I would like to uh, put into your mind that in this chaotic situation, in, the, in this situation where the things are uncertain, where we don't know how to lead, when we cannot even plan one month ahead, we, we cannot even plan our next year, you know, how do we respond in such situation? So for this evening, the question is, what should we do? What should we do? Uh, should we not worry about it or should we just take it uh, lightly or, uh, uh, we, uh, or should we just live our life as usual or should we just say hey, it's okay just chill or uh, should we buy some extra sanitizers and uh, hide inside at our homes uh, prepare for the end of the world. Well, uh, this evening I don't pretend that I'm an expert. I don't know where this is going to go. I don't know when this thing will end. I don't know that uh, for how long we have to be in this situation. If today I'm going to speak something from a faith perspective, from the perspective of faith. And uh, earlier, as I mentioned, that uh, we are following, NCR is following a series of earthquake and people are literally afraid. Uh, and during this series of earthquake, I'm so excited 
Yes, during this series of earthquake, uh, I am so excited to tell you uh, that we at WATC, we at Cathedral, Worship at Cathedral, we are starting a series called Not Afraid. Yes, we are starting a series called Not Afraid. Come on, tell someone, do not be afraid. You know, uh, there might be someone uh, who needs this uh, word this word of encouragement uh, take out your cell phone and uh, I know you you are not uh, in the house of Lord right now you are at your homes you are watching uh, from online platform you can just take out your cell phone and uh, you know someone maybe you know someone who needs this word and you can just text them you can just DM them and you can just tell them hey do not be afraid or even I just want to speak it into your life. If you are afraid, if you are under stress, if you are in anxiety, if you experience something like that, uh, I want you guys to tell it to yourself. Go into the mirror, look, look yourself into the mirror and just tell it to yourself. Do not be afraid. Yes, do not be afraid. So today we are going to focus on the word called not as the series that we are starting is not afraid today we are going to focus on this word not now today's situation we all of us we know that professional sporting events has been cancelled uh, there'll be no IPL for this year uh, conferences you know big big conferences has been cancelled concerts have been cancelled schools are shutting down for a semester at least right and uh, uh, even we are taking our school uh, through Zoom and uh, we want to go to school, we want to enjoy with kids but we are not able to and uh, people are not traveling because, uh, because of this virus and we could see a major uh, hike in fuel cost. Now the question is what are we going to do? Should we just ignore it? As I mentioned earlier, should we just ignore it? Uh, stay at home and just relax, chill out at our homes what should we do? As disciples of Jesus, our response must be filtered and different from that of this world. Yes, uh, I'll repeat that again. As disciples of Jesus, our response, not the reaction, but our response. Towards uh, this situation must be filtered and different from that uh, of this world. And you must be thinking how and why. Yes, uh, if, if this question has come uh, to your mind, why our response should be different from that of this world, the reason is because according to the Bible, we are not of this world. Because this is what the Bible tells about us that do not be confirmed to this world. Yes, if you read, uh, I'll read it for you. If you have your Bibles, you can uh, just flip your pages, uh, open your Bible to uh, episode of Romans and chapter 12 verse 2. I'm reading it from NLT version uh, which says, uh, I'll read it for you. Do not copy the behavior and customs of this world but let god transform you into a new person by changing the way you think then you will learn to know god's will for you which is good and pleasing and perfect i want to read it again for you and it says that do not copy the behavior and customs of this world in the very first line this is what paul is writing this is what paul is in fact he is instructing all of us uh, and he is telling that do not copy the behavior and customs of this world but let god let god transform you into a new person by changing the way you think you know in this situation in this time of pandemic in this time of chaos where we don't know what's going to happen next you know it is god who will transform our life it is god who will who will uh, reshape our life it is god who will renew our thoughts who will renew our thinking and this is what god is uh, this is what uh, the bible is telling us that then you will learn when you will learn when you will rely on god when you rely on god then only you will learn to know what is god's will for you which is good and pleasing and perfect you know the will uh, of God for all of us it's good and perfect and that's why this evening I want to speak into your life I have no idea what your situation is maybe uh, the situation for you it's dark it's dreary you know you might be thinking oh I have no idea what's gonna happen to my career but I have one assurance for you from the Lord from the Bible and I want to speak this assurance into your life that God's will God's will who has created you and me in his perfect image you know his 
his will for you and me is pleasing and perfect amen and uh, he goes ahead and he says do not live like those who have no hope but be different yes you know if you look around the world who don't know about god you know people of this world they have no idea about god and they have no hope but we have a hope because we believe in God yes we are followers of Christ and this is what Paul is writing uh, in this particular passage he is telling that do not live like those who have no and as I mentioned the title of today's message is not afraid uh, and with an emphasis on this word not so today we are going to see three ways that we are not like this world yes three points i'll be sharing out three points that we are not like this world so today uh, we are going to see the first point that uh, i would like to draw your attention on the first point is we live by faith not by fear you you must have heard uh, many times but yes today i want to assure this from the word of god this is not something that i'm motivating you this is not something that i'm giving motivational speech yes uh, but i am uh, getting this assurance from the word of god and by when i was preparing this message uh, i was preparing and i was personally blessed uh, and i hope this will definitely bless you because this is uh, the first point that we live by faith not by fear you know when jesus was comforting his disciples in the uh, gospel of john chapter 14 over there uh, jesus told them that do not let your heart be troubled yes you have to believe in God believe also in me the way you believe in God you believe also in me uh, in John chapter 14 verse 1 and and uh, when we do the story fast forward and we jump on uh, verse 27 it says peace I leave with you my peace I give it to you I do not give to you as the world gives do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid i'm reading this from the niv version this is what jesus told them do not let your heart be troubled and do not be afraid but i really like like the way nlt has translated this uh, uh, john chapter 14 verses 27 it says that i am leaving with you a gift i'm leaving you with a gift peace of mind and heart amen it's it's a free gift for all of us and the peace I give is a gift you know the peace that we get is a gift tell it to yourself it is a gift this this is what I want you guys to tell to yourself that I have a peace and just 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 thank God just tell him Jesus thank you so much uh, even during this time we have this assurance we have this peace that you will carry us forward we are not going to fear we are not going to be afraid uh, during this pandemic during this situation but we are going to live a life of faith because this is what the Lord has promised uh, promised and you know uh, uh, it is a gift because we have not earned it yes gift is something that we can never earn it and it can uh, we we cannot even buy from anyone we can't even get from typing something on YouTube how to get peace but peace is something that we believers we the followers of Christ we the disciples of Christ we have got gift of peace freely amen and it's a uh, it's 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 the love of Heavenly Father which he has showed up on our lives and that's what he says that peace that goes beyond human understanding you know people of this world they will never understand it people of this world they have no hope many people they they, they are just giving up on the on the situation many people they are just giving up on their life many people uh, they are taking away someone else's life and today god is not sitting in heaven thinking that i don't see it coming because our god is faithful he is in control he is good good father you know god has a perfect plan for all of us he won't leave us this is what he says that i will never leave you i will never forsake you because he is working on all things he is working on all things i will say it again that he is working on all things you know uh, in the in the epistle of timothy well uh, uh, when Paul is writing to Timothy uh, it, it, he says in 2nd Timothy chapter 1 verse 7 he says for God has not give given us the spirit of fear and timidity but of power love and self-discipline three things that he is adding unto it he is telling Timothy hey Timothy listen you don't have to be afraid because Timothy was very young he, he was working with Paul and Paul had commanded him Paul had instructed him instructed him and he said to him that for God 
has not given us a power of spirit of fear and timidity but spirit of power love and self discipline you know we don't have to panic but we need to cultivate peace in us we don't have to be fearful but instead of that we need to have faith for we live by faith not by sight this is what we get to uh, get to read from second corinthians chapter 5 verse 7 because we live by faith not by sight hence we have to live by faith not by fear um, uh, you know there was a rich couple whose bedroom was in the first floor of their bungalow and almost every other day the wife uh, after getting into the bed would tell the husband to go and check the downstairs maybe some thieves would be around the husband eventually found out that the noises uh, were made by the neighboring cats and by the gates you know but as a routine uh, he he would just go and he would uh, as you know he had to uh, listen to the command of his wife otherwise you know what would have happened so every night he used to go and he used, he used to check the doors uh, but uh, one day as on a routine check up when he was uh, going to the downstairs downstairs of his bungalow uh, when he uh, went he saw that literally there were some thieves that uh, came to their home and you know what happened uh, uh, when the husband went out sure enough there was a thief who pointed out gun at him and you know what happened the thief said to him uh, do not make a sound just give me your valuables yes the thief told the husband do not make a sound just give me your valuables and he went and got the valuables yes the husband got and he was really scared he got afraid and he went and took the valuables and he gave it to the thief and as the thief took it uh, he was uh, moving out of the house Uh, the husband he went and he stopped the thief and he said hey listen you need to come and meet my wife upstairs yes the husband goes and he says hey you need to come and meet my wife uh, wife uh, upstairs and the thief was perplexed and he said he he was thinking why so what what did he reply and the thief asked why the husband said she has been expecting you for the last 30 years okay so there are times you know what we expect there are times we expect something and we get to uh, we get to get the same thing so expect god in your situation don't expect fear expect positive in the situation don't expect negative in the situation for live for we live by faith not by fear point number 2 Uh, we are sacrificial not selfish yes as the follower of christ as the disciples of christ we are sacrificial uh, and we are not selfish because in the epistle of philippines this is what paul is uh, writing to uh, to the uh, uh, church in philippi and he is writing uh, in second philippians chapter uh, 2 verses 3 and 4 he says that do not be self- selfish don't try to impress others but be humble thinking of others as better than yourselves do not look uh, do not look out for only uh, things about your own interest but take an interest in others too and this is what paul is interest uh, uh, paul is actually telling the believers in philippi and he is telling that we don't have to be selfish but we have to be sacrificial you know because we have to understand one thing that during the early ch- uh, church they faced a lot of persecution and it was an extreme persecution even uh, people they lost uh, the life just because of faith and if you read epistle of peter it's such a beautiful uh, epistle it's such a beautiful letter which uh, has been written and it has been recorded in a bible uh, when you read it uh, the context of or the background of that epistle is that it was written to uh, people who were being persecuted you know who were being tormented and uh, so th- that's what he is telling paul is telling uh, to the philippians church and he is telling that you don't have to uh, think about your own interest you have to think about other people also because uh, in the first century uh, the christians the the new believers they never heard about their goods and uh, even they had no chance of rushing towards the jerusalem and to get some help from there uh, they had no emergency supplies from, from uh, over there and even uh, you know uh, even as the bible says uh, that we are one body 
of Christ and we have to put others ahead of ourselves. We have to understand one thing that we are one body of Christ and we have to put others of ourselves. Uh, and in the Acts, in the uh, in the book of Acts chapter 2 verses uh, 44 to 46, it says that all the believers uh, were together, together and had everything in common. They sold property and possessions to give to anyone who had need. Every day they continued to meet together in the temple courts. They broke bread in their homes and ate together with glad and sacred, uh, sincere hearts. And this is what the Bible says that they continued to meet. Uh, now, the questions for uh, question for all of us that uh, they used to meet every day, but during this pandemic, how do we meet? How do we meet and pray? We cannot go to someone's house. We cannot even socialize. But you have technology. Get use, uh, get use of the technology and get connected and pray for people you know you just have to be connected and uh, you just get connected to the people around you you never know who might need you uh, last month we got to hear the news of an emerging uh, star from Bollywood who just gave upon his life you know so Shan Singh Rajput and he just ended his life by uh, going into the stress now even though media is talking about many other things they are coming up uh, with new new theories I know uh, you, uh, we have been following a news on nepotism but if we take out the whole conclusion of that news we would find that he gave upon his life just because he was under stress he was in anxiety he had no hope yes he had no hope because he never knew the word of God he never knew the word of God and we we have a hope we have a hope and we have a good future and you know this is what the Bible has promised to all of us people who believe in God people who have uh, put their trust in God they always have a hope now what what uh, I mean to say from uh, this particular point that we are sacrificial not selfish see uh, we are in hope we have a hope uh, we are into light so in the same way you know it's our duty as church you know as the body of Christ it's our duty to help out people when people are into stress uh, we have to pull them out from them uh, from their painful situation uh, you you uh, you never know that your friend might need a word of encouragement you never know that your cousin might need a word of encouragement you never know that your friend might need a word of encouragement Just just have to uh, pick out your cell phone and just tell them hey how are you uh, what are you up to you know your your questions your uh, your your one word your concern will make their day you know don't don't leave them alone and you know i always believe in a power of prayer so encourage this is what it is that i want to encourage all of you to get connected and pray for people you know uh, as the early church, they uh, they displayed uh, for us, you know, they displayed that they used to meet every day for prayer and for fellowship. We cannot meet in person, but yes, through technology you can meet. Yes, through WhatsApp, through call you can meet. You know, uh, prayer is a powerful weapon. Join as a family to pray. Uh, you know, you, uh, you, you need a prayer life even in your family. Uh, personally, you know, I have been following this. Steffi and myself, doesn't matter uh, how busy our day is, but every Every, every night before we go to sleep we make sure that as family we go to the Lord in prayer as family we go to the Lord in prayer so young people I just want to encourage you that we don't have to be selfish but we have to be sacrificial and sacrificial in a sense that you can invest in other people uh, people's life by just praying for them just telling them hey uh, I've been thinking for you hey uh, I, I, I've been I, I want to pray for you you can tell me your needs even if they, they are not uh, telling you the need but even if you know that they are under stress you can pray for them and you can just tell them hey uh, I'm just praying for you so don't stop seeking God because he says because this is what the word says that if you will seek me you will find me when you will seek me with all your heart oh what a promise what an assurance we have from the word of God that when we seek him definitely we find him you know oftentimes we are pretty much focus on our miracles but this evening I want to encourage you we don't have to focus on our miracles but we have to be focused on the miracle worker yes doesn't matter if he does miracles for us or not but Lord is on the throne yes he is God uh, so I want to go on the third point and the third point says that uh, we shine the light we do not hide it yes we shine the light 
and we do not hide it. We find it in the in the book of Matthew, in the gospel of Matthew, where Jesus uh, continued this uh, words and he said uh, to the people who were uh, listening and we often know the chapter 5 has been named as the Beatitudes and in chapter 5 verses 14 and uh, 14 to 16, very beautifully Jesus portrays his words and he says that you are the light of the world. You are the light of the world. This is what I want to tell you from the word of Lord that you, you're watching me, you are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on the stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Amen. This is what the Lord is telling this is what Jesus told his disciples. This is what Jesus told, you know, people who were following multitudes of people and the big multitude was following Jesus. And he say, he, he told them that you are the light of the world. You know, during this time, people are afraid. People are unsettled. People are anxious. People are under stress. They're looking for hope. Where do they go? How do they find hope? How do they find hope? You know, you have to be the light of the world. You have to be their light. You have to be the salt of their life we have to be hope dealers you know we have to be a kingdom minded yes we need to sow something in the kingdom of god so we have to be hope dealers we have to be light shiners we have to be love givers the virus may be contagious but you know we should pray as christians you know as believers we must pray that you know god must consume us with his spirit, with his power, and by the blood of Jesus, and by the power of uh, power and fire of God. Doesn't matter, this virus is contagious, but our God is more powerful than all the pandemic. Amen. You know, we have to spread hope, we have to spread love, we have to spread the life of Christ in other people. And I'm believing the love and hope, uh, life and hope of Jesus will definitely transform their life. That will uh, that will be a hope. For them in this confusion in the time of confusion so you know the because the love spread faster than any virus because we have to remember one thing that we are not of this world Romans chapter uh, 12 verses 2 says that we are not of this world amen and it, I want to read it again as I mentioned in my first point and uh, as Paul says that do not copy the behavior and customs of this world we don't have to be the light light the world shines but we have to be light the way jesus wants us to shine in this world we don't have to copy the customs and behavior of this world you know the way god transform you but let god transform you in a new person by changing the way you think and you will know and you will learn you will not only know but you will learn that what is god's will for you what is god's will for you you know you know we have to make people understand what is god's will for them God's will for them is always in hope, is always in good future. It's always good and pleasing and perfect. So do not grieve or panic, you know, like those who have no hope. We don't have to grieve. We don't have to panic like those people who have no hope. Because we are not ashamed of the name of Jesus. Yes, we have been saved by the blood of Jesus or the power of the gospel. We don't have to be ashamed from the power of gospel. It is the gospel that brings salvation to everyone who believes. Like first century people, first century believed in the book of Acts. And you know, the book of Acts was written, in, uh, written for the first century. And I believe that the book of Acts should be alive today in your church in our church within your life in our life amen and that's why paul is writing to the church in philippi that do not be anxious about anything but in everything but prayer petition make your request known to god and the peace of god that passes all the understanding will with will guard your heart with the mind of jesus christ you know we are different we are not of this world our minds are not confirmed but our minds has to be transformed according to the word and will of god you know why did jesus came to this world did he come to condemn us you know because our words did he come to condemn us no he gave he, he came to give his life and he came to save you and me he came to give you give you hope he came to give me hope and we have to understand one thing that our words carry power yes 
if you don't know, uh, you know, we have to understand that our words carry power. Speak positive in someone's negative situation because we live by faith, not by fear. We are sacrificial. We are not selfish. We shine the light. We do not hide it. You know, when Jesus, if you remember that story, when Jesus stills the sea, you know, over there when disciples, they were panicking and they were waking up Jesus and they were telling Jesus, oh, we are going to drown. And, you know, in that particular passage, we get to hear that there was at once a great calm and perfect and a perfect peacefulness. And Jesus said to them, yes, this is what the words of Jesus came to them. And he, he, he said to them, why are you afraid? Do you still do you still have no faith and confidence in me? They were filled with great fear and said to each other, that who is this that even the wind and the sea obey him. I hope you remember this story. And you know, they, uh, uh, these were the same disciples who were with Jesus when Jesus uh, did many miracles with them. But when the situation came upon their life, oh, they were afraid. And that's why Jesus told them, hey, why are you afraid? Still, you don't have confidence. Still, you don't believe in me. And finally, you know, they get to believe, oh, this is Jesus. This is the Son of God. You know, our faith is not an ordinary faith. You know, our God is not an ordinary God. He is an extraordinary God. You know, this is what the Word says. This is what the Lord says. Is anything hard for me? Is anything hard for me? And this is what I want you to ask to yourself. Is anything hard for God to work in my, in my life? So to conclude this message, I want to just repeat the three points. You know, we live by faith, not by fear. We are sacrificial. We are not selfish. And we light, uh, we shine the light. We do not hide it. Amen. I hope you're blessed. Uh, let's close this uh, uh, by the word of prayer. Our gracious Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you. We are so uh, happy and uh, we are so uh, we are so filled with hope uh, by the word that we received uh, tonight oh god uh, we just come to you and we just want to thank you for the hope and for the confidence that we have in you lord we give the entire situation in your mighty hands we uh, give the situation of people who are watching us online in your mighty hands lord you we speak positive we speak uh, your word in their life lord we give the situation in your mighty hands we just want to thank you uh, for being with us we just want to thank you that you are with us even in our situation doesn't matter what situation we go through lord you are there with us thank you so much for being with us uh, lord we pray for people who are in need we pray for people um, who are struggling uh, for the jobs for their career for anything whatever it may be lord we speak that you may fulfill their desire you uh, be their need oh jesus thank you so much for everything in jesus name we pray amen uh, we're going to pray the last prayer. Uh, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of the Father, and sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all uh, till the day Jesus returns. Amen and amen. God bless you and have a blessed week.